Hey everyone, welcome back to the Mark Loeffler Experience. Today we're going to go through with Quentin D'Souza from Get Real Wealthy. Uh, it's his podcast, go check it out. We're going to find out how he bought five houses in less than an hour in the States without ever leaving from his computer. After you watch this, let me know, is this the future of real estate? I have questions, is like, how are these people making money? Is this a tech startup that is one of those ones that, hey, we're gonna get super big and then we're not gonna make any money for a long time? But let's get into it. Welcome, Quentin D'Souza. Quentin, what's the future? You you told me this is what you pitched me on coming on for. So this is what we need to know. What is the future? The future. Well, what do we what do we hear a lot of like in the, in the markets right now? We talk about cryptocurrency. Crypto, we talk about N- N- NLP, right? NFP. I don't even know NPF, <laughs> NFTs. NFTs. So you know, we're, but one of the things that that make it interesting is the blockchain components of it, right? And we've heard in Canada of uh, different companies that have like broken up buildings and sell them for like $10 or $20, which is kind of interesting. I did a video on that. I'll link it down below how you can get into real estate investment for $1. Another component of that is a company called Lofty.ai. Have you ever heard of Lofty.ai? No. So like Lofty.ai allows, it it basically takes a, a house and breaks it down into tokens. And then you can purchase the tokens and just like you would like a Bitcoin token or a Ethereum token based on a particular address and a particular house. So they break down these uh, the tokenization. So what I was able to do in, in less than an hour was I was like, I was able to buy into five different houses uh, in, in about an hour with a token um uh, you know, a principal value of the, of a token of about $50. So, uh, and depending on how many you want to buy in a, so you can see that I've, uh, I have, um, my principal value of $250. These are the five properties that I purchased tokens in. Um, you can see that, um, I know each one has a, a different cash payout. Now you got to remember too that this cash payout is based on zero um, percent leverage, right? So uh, that this is one of the pain points that. But it's interesting where this is all going, right? Um, when we think about how how what what this is, this is basically taking a property and breaking it up into parts, and then having the money component be based on uh, tokenization. Yeah, well, and then twenty two hundred to forty two hundred parts. Yeah, that's right, right. So based on the uh, the value of the property. And um, and then people being able to purchase that having a cash uh, like a cash on cash um, uh, component to it, and you can see you know and this is a relatively recent uh, experiment uh, and an experiment that it is, but you know I, I've got f- I've, I've I've been purchased into five properties and I've got like a twelve cents of uh, of uh, income so far from it, All but it. you can. Yeah, but you can kind of tell what's going on here, right? And it's and it's interesting to see like this is now. This isn't like five years from now or ten years from now. Now hey, you did this, this last week. I did this last week, you know. And I was expecting something like this to happen maybe like five or ten years from now. So it's amazing to see this come forward now. I, I cannot recommend the service. I cannot say that this is a service that I would use. In fact, this is an experiment for me to to, to try it. You can obviously say, well, I mean, at this point, it doesn't look like a scam. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's a it's an opportunity to kind of see what, what, what happens with this over time, right? Could this and, just be um, a big Ponzi scheme? Well, you know, and and you never know until you get involved with stuff like this. And it's always good to invest a small amount or try it with a small amount and to see what happens, right? But it also has some really interesting backing of some tech uh, tech people in um, in California, and um, so I was interested in in giving it a try just to see what it's like. But could you imagine being able to take like you know we do a large apartment building purchase and you break it down into 
into like a, a you know the the partnership into tokenization and then you just make the tokens available to people based on their interest level it's, it's very interesting like what's what's happening and what's going on here with something like this now am i advocating for this no but you know i think that there's a very interesting way that this could actually change the way how joint venture partnerships and you know uh, partnerships in general could could look in the future right and it probably gives you like i'm always like i'm always looking to try and see where things are going not where it's already been and so this is a good example of me like how i kind of work i take a you know, kind of see what's happening out there and see what what I can what will work for me. And the only way to do it sometimes is to put some money behind it and test it out. So uh, I mean, I'm I'm happy to come back and to tell you how it's been and and where 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 it actually ends up in the future. But it's um it's an interesting experiment, right? Yeah, for I, sure. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna withdraw my 12 cents anytime soon, right? From my rental income to date, but uh, um, I mean, for if if anything at all, it's great to be able to to see what what it could be looking like in the future for partnerships. And if this is the direction that we're going, the way that partnerships work will will obviously have to change, right? So my it's, question is, how are they making money on the back end? Obviously, they're charging fees. Let's break this down, right? Let's look at the purchase price of the property. So we have, um, let's say, fifty dollars with how many tokens? Fifty times two, eight, three, nine. So we've got a purchase price here of one hundred and forty-one thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars, right? Yeah. And so the so the so everybody has the ability to purchase property at this level in their uh, in the way that they've organized things so uh, either um, people in the company or outside of the company have the ability to to um, to to purchase these tokens sure. How, I, I mean i would have to investigate further if there is i don't believe they actually get it at a discount so there's no discounting for people who own the tokens. Okay, but so is it a 75-25 split? Is like how, again, I just want to know how these guys are making money because obviously, if we're going to do this, I just want to replicate, uh, you know, rip off and duplicate R and D, baby. Yeah. See, the way that I think that they're trying to make money on this is from the tech itself. So from the platform itself, they're creating a fintech company. And then I, running I, I, running the company, not necessarily the products that they're selling, which is I I know it's not the way that you and I would do things. But right? lastly, I mean, they got to be making something, right? Like they can't it's like this. They're not doing this for free. No, I know, but it's a it's it's also this is a like a like a starter tech company, right? I, I'm not I'm not so interested in the the company itself, but I'm interested in the concept. And I'm interested in in what what this kind of means for what partnerships may or may not look like in the future. And the other thing too is like there's they have a governance uh, like so for example when when you're looking to purchase a, a, a like a, a piece of this property there is a governance checklist and questionnaire that you go through that that gives you an I that basically helps to determine the direction that this this house is going to take and and what you would like to do like um you know what would you like to do for improvements and i mean who knows this could be like a real like uh mess in the end right we don't know what this is actually going to look like in the end when it comes to making decisions around property management making decisions to like it gives you guidelines for like what what do you when do you want to sell how how long do you want to, to to own the asset like all of those things but um you know a general government uh, governance agreement isn't the same as you know uh being an asset manager right so well, this so, is going to be very interesting to see i mean just a simple search tells me this is an ll llp right lpgp structure yeah so it's an LLC like when you're when you're uh, looking at the the agreements and the the documentation right it's uh, it's very um um 
you know, it's, it's a standard type of LLC agreement when you're doing a purchase for a property, yeah. but it's broken down into different components. I think that that concept is like is more interesting than the product itself, right? It's like we kind of talked about purchasing property in different ways. Um, you know, what you see here now is something more like even more different than what we've seen in the past where you actually have like tokens. So it's the tokenization of real estate, really. That's kind of uh, an interesting concept. And as somebody who, who deals with partnerships and, and partners and, and, and people, um, this is kind of a different way of doing things all together. You have, Hundred yeah. percent. Have like a like a general understanding of the governance of what you want to do, like maybe instead of you know breaking it down into tokens of, uh, you know of two hundred and eighty nine, you you take a certain amount of tokens for um you know the govern like, uh, the asset management component of it or putting the deal together or like the business plan com component and then you break it down into tokens, it's it's just um it's just different. Right, hundred percent. I mean, it, it's it's definitely interesting. Um, I, I think it's very much like what what I covered before, except obviously this is going through the AI or through the uh, blockchain technology, which the other one isn't. Um, yeah, I mean, it, again, how do how do we set this up, Quinton? <laughs> well, you know what? I still I still think we're uh, like quite a few years away from it, but maybe a. I, like I, I don't think that this is going to be a reality, f you know, in in like what are, five ten is. years. They're buying but, houses. Yeah, yeah, I know, and that's why I put my money in there, man. I wanted to see what, what's going to happen with it, right? But the fact that I was able to do it in less than an hour and and buy five houses or buy into five houses is pretty crazy, man. And I and I've got my video going too. I've got a channel, get real. Oh yes. Com. Yeah. GetRealWealthy.com. We'll link it down below. Check out Quentin D'Souza. 